Good afternoon. You're hearing the voice of Patricia Angelin of Alba Technique, and you are at All the Feels. I'm going to turn our camera around. And I think I'm very brave to turn the camera around because I have been feeling very ill. I have had COVID. I do not know which of the variants I had. And I'm certainly not contagious anymore. It's been three solid weeks from today that I first had symptoms and have been extremely miserable. It has not been a light case, although I must say I managed not to um, by dint of doing some things that my father taught me, um, he was a physician, um, pounding on the back in a particular way that I'm surprised is not all over the internet because it doesn't feel good physically to do when you're that sick. Um, but emotionally, it, it helps you feel that you are actually doing something and you are. What you do is you fist your hands like this and when you feel a cough coming, whether it's, you know, from, you know, the bronchia or the larynx or the lungs, wherever it, it's coming from, it doesn't matter. And you use gravity to help you. So you go lean over the side of the bed or, you know, put your legs wide apart and, um, and bend over from the waist. And you take these fisted hands and you, and you, you know, if this is the, um, in, if this is the spine, you would, you know, be p pound up going up with the cough, helping the cough to be productive. So you would have to have, as a friend of mine would say, uh, just said to me last night, you have to have your spit pot. Because you, ideally, you know, you don't have a, a handkerchief over over your mouth. You can do it with one hand if you need to, um, if there's anyone else around. Um, but this can help keep it going from the into the lungs, and um, and getting it up and being you know productive of, of breaking up the um, the the mucus that the organism is using to attack you. So there we are. That is something that I did, and consequently my COVID did not, did not really go into my lungs, but it certainly had many other symptoms and problems. But I think I'm very brave, feeling like I do, at the age that I am, um, feeling inadequate in every way emotionally uh, to be appearing with you. <laughs> so um, today in our continuing search for beauty and truth in art, um, another Shakespearean sonnet. And what um, caused me to think of this particular sonnet was uh, a, a Facebook posting uh, from an old friend, marvelous actor, and she uh, was talking about uh, an article a friend of hers had written, journalist friend, um, uh, in regards to sex in the city and, you know, sex after 60 kind of thing. And so I read it and it was very well written, but I thought, hmm, Shakespeare has talked about everything in human condition. What about some of the dark lady sonnets? And um, what's in there about love and age? And so today, sonnet 138. So you'll be able to look it up on your own, Sonnet 138. As always, I'll turn it around so that you're looking at the beautiful lit Christmas tree. And um, I wish you could smell the beautiful candle and the three glorious roses. Sonnet 138 by William Shakespeare. When my love swears that she is made of truth, I do believe her, though I know she lies, that she might think me some untutored youth, unlearned in the world's false subtleties, thus vainly thinking that she thinks me young, although she knows my days are past the best. Simply I credit her false speaking tongue. On both sides, thus, is simple truth suppressed. But wherefore says she not she is unjust? And wherefore say not I that I am old? Oh, love's best habit is in seeming trust. 
and age in love loves not to have years told. Therefore I lie with her and she with me, and in our faults by lies we flattered be. So the play on word with I lie with her is lying down, of course, having sex, and, um, and she with me, and in our faults, by lies, we flattered be, so that we can make each other feel young. I just think that's wonderful. It just underscores again that there's nothing in the human condition that William Shakespeare um, didn't address. You know, last night, I felt a lot of things because I'm on the Screen Actors Guild um, uh, Awards nominating committee this year, and that means that one must watch a lot of films. And last night, I wasn't sure I was up to it, but I did it anyway, and oh, I'm so glad I did. I watched Denzel Washington, Francis McDormand, in Macbeth. And it's, I think, going to be released on Apple TV Plus January 14th, and I would highly recommend it. Um, it's short. It's certainly shortened. It's an hour and 45 minutes running time. And it owes a lot to the early 20th century um, great, great set designer, Edward Gordon Craig. Um, and you, most of you would not you know, be familiar with that particular name. Edward Gordon Craig, but you could certainly look him up. Very important. And, um, and perhaps filmophiles, cinephiles, would, you might know from Orson Welles, uh, also, you know, early, in, uh, not early, but, you know, mid-20th century director and actor. And it looks a lot, you know, like, like his, and he got his inspiration from Craig. So, um, but Washington gives a performance of Macbeth unlike any I have ever seen. And the director, Joel, um, Joel Cohen, of the Brothers Cohen, it's just fascinating. I loved it, and I hope that you will see it and that you will enjoy it as much as I did. So, all right, I thank you very much. If there is anything for next week's Facebook Live, that any feelings that you want explored or talked about, questions answered, I would be delighted, you know, to engage with you and for you. As always, we don't use any names here by which you might be identified, unless you'd want us to, in which case we would. And as also, as always, this will be on the Alba Technique YouTube channel, um, uploaded very, very soon after we finish this. But I am feeling better from my COVID, even though I know I don't look fabulous yet. <laughs> the fatigue is really a factor. It's a preternatural kind of a fatigue. But I decided that I would feel better in, you know, coming out, you know, to not to literally see you, but to let you see me. And, um, and I thank you for being with me. And I thank you for with me engaging um, William Shakespeare in Psalm 138 about love in age and truth and lies and all the feels. Here we are, beautiful roses beautiful lit tree that my sister sent to me, knowing that I was sick. So she sent me this little Christmas tree, which is really alive. I wish I had a garden to plant it in, but I don't. Thank you so much for being with me. Bless you. Bless you all.